Ho City are currently 6th in the championship and they're playing really nice football there. They do have some incredible young player in Jaden Fiujin who does have so much potential and that's why we're gonna take them over in FC24. We're gonna try to bring them as fast as possible to the Premier League and from there on we're gonna try to make an incredible Ho City squad that is gonna be able to win the Champions League. So let's just not waste any more time and start the Ho City rebuild with their superstar Jaden Fugin. We're starting with 8 million as our budget and looking more detail into this squad we do have so many good young players but the biggest problem is that most of them are currently on loan at the club. Fabio Carvalho on loan from Liverpool, Anna Zauri on loan from Burnley, our left back Gilles also on loan at the club. Man, we need to sign some of them on a permanent deal, but with 8 million, it's gonna be a little <laughs> bit difficult. So that's why we start to clear out the club with the players that we're not gonna use. And we managed to collect 13 million as our new budget. And with these 13 million, we signed Fabio Carvalho. I do have big expectations from him and I do believe that he's our future. So let's see how he's gonna develop at Hull City. Now, when we sold a lot of our players, we're missing a good right back. We cannot rely on the 57 overall Jacob. And that's why we went and signed Connor Bradley, also from Liverpool. He's having such a nice season currently in real world. And I do believe that he's gonna be our future right back for the entire Ho City review. Wow, we finished sixth in the first season of this takeover with 71 points. But not only that, we also eliminate Meadows, bro, in the first round of the playoffs. And now we're gonna face Watford for the biggest game in our history. If we win that game, we're going back to the Premier League already in the first season. If that doesn't deserve a like, what does? Come on, boys. But I'm not surprised that we finish a six. Like, look at our team. Anna Zawuri is our best player currently. We should have went for him and not for Fabio Carvalho. But hey, man, it is what it is. Also, Philogene he grew to 77 overall Bradley grew to 75 overall the boys are developing really really well our top goal scorer is Aaron Connolly with 16 goals and one assist but look at Anna Zauri man he scored 13 goals assisted 15 times he grew to 79 overall Wow, what a player we're bringing back to Burnley. His market value is over 21 million. I'm so gutted that we didn't sign him and we signed instead of him Fabio Carvalho. This was a huge, huge mistake. And the stats are showing that we made a huge mistake. Fabio Carvalho assisted only three times and scored only two goals in 45 games. What a poor season from our Cam. Let's hope that at least in the game versus Watford, he's gonna perform on a top level and help us go to the Premier League. And we started that game on the best possible way. What a counter-attack. Jacob Fiojin took advantage of it. And now we're leading in that very, very crucial game for our rebuild. Imagine going back to the Premier League already from the first season. This is going to be amazing. Come on, boys. We're so close. In the 88th minute, our goalkeeper made an incredible save. And now Watford does have a corner. And their goalkeeper is in our half. And look what happened. We took the ball and we never gave it away. What a moment for Anas Zawuri. He's gonna score the second goal in that game. And this goal is only telling us one thing. We're going back to the Premier League. We won the most expensive game in football. I really hope that our budget next season is gonna be over 50 million because we need it and it is over 50 million and i'm super grateful for our owners because we need that money look at our squad we need a new striker we need a new left winger and we also need a new left back and with that money we managed to improve all three positions first we signed Matisteo from Bar München for over 20 million 
but Marty Steele does have so much potential. He is gonna become one of the best strikers in the world. Mark my word. For the left wing position, we went and signed Asane Diao from Red Bull Leipzig. We paid 11.7 million. And now we do have only 15 million to improve the left back position. But these 50 million are enough for us to sign that guy, Ridvan Ilmas from Rangers. We paid 13.5 million plus one of our players, but we gave everything for him. We do have now only 20 pounds. I have no idea how are we gonna pay wages on our team but we created such an incredible young squad and I really hope that with these boys we're gonna be able to stay in the Premier League and avoid relegation. This is the aim, let's find out how we perform in our first season back to the Premier League. Well, the things are not looking good. After 22 games, we're 19 with only 14 points. How is that possible, man? Like, look at our team, Matisteo 79 overall, Fujin 79, Asane Diao 78 overall, he's also our top goal scorer with 7 goals, 4 assists, then after that Fujin 5 goals, 4 assists, Matis a little bit slow start in my opinion, only 5 goals, only 2 assists, Fabio Carvalho again also a really really poor performance, come on boys, we need to remain in the Premier League, we need that, we cannot go back to the championship, come on! And somehow we survive guys, after 38 games we finish 16 with 34 points. We deserve to remain in the Premier League. We deserve it for these boys. Like, look at their progression. Fujin, our superstar, is now 80 overall. Matisteo, also 80 overall. He's also the top goal scorer of that season. I'm telling you, Matisteo does have so, so much potential. And I'm really excited to see how he's going to develop at Hull. But now, let's find out what our budget for the third season is going to be. It is 39 million. This is not a small amount of money, to be honest with you. But looking into that squad, we need a new center back, in my opinion. And if we can manage to upgrade our two midfielders behind Fabio Carvalho, this is gonna be an awesome transfer window for us. So let's see what we can get for the money that we do have. We're starting with Taylor Harward Bellis from Manchester City. We paid 15 million for him, but he is definitely worth it, in my opinion. And then look what happened. We signed another wonder kid and this is Luis Mille from Newcastle. We paid only 8.3 million and he's 74 overall. Like this is a steal in my opinion. Now we do have 17 million to continue improving that squad. But look what happened in the meantime. Everton came to us and they gave us 13.5 million for our CDM Yomur. And I'm super excited for that, man. Like, how the hell we managed to get that amount of money for him? He was good, but not that great in my opinion. And now we gave our entire budget for the Borussia Mönchengladbach midfielder Manu Kone. His contract was expiring, that's why we paid only 24 million plus one of our players. But Manu Kone is such an incredible talent. He is 82 overall and he is turning to be the highest overall player in our squad. I expect big things from Manu Kone. So let's see how he's gonna develop at Hull City. And of course, if you enjoyed so far this review, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But now let's see what are we gonna do in our second season back to the Premier League. Well, well, we finished seventh. What an improvement from the last season. We collected 58 points, man. We scored 69 goals this season. This is a really great performance in my opinion. Yes, we can see it's 60, which is the most from the first eight. But look at us also in the FA Cup. Somehow we're in the final and there we're gonna face Manchester United. We're not ready for that game, 
but our boys are ready man like look at their progression Matis Teo 86 overall wow Filujin 85 overall Asane Diao 85 Fabio Carvalho is the downside in my opinion man I honestly regret not signing Ana Zauri and instead we went for Fabio Carvalho but hey it is what it is Matis Teo is again the top goal scorer with 23 goals and 7 assists but look at also Jaden Filujin 20 goals, 6 assists, brilliant third season in my opinion. And again, another poor season from Fabio Carvalho. This is no surprise for us, man. 8 goals, 8 assists in 44 games is not enough in my opinion, Fabio. Come on. And now, one of the biggest games so far of this review. The FA Cup Final versus Manchester United. If we win that game, we're gonna have Europa League football next season. This is gonna be hilarious hilarious but we started that game really really poor we conceded in the 49th minute Angel Correa from all people managed to score that if that was a goal directly from the free kick I was okay with it but to concede that goal it was super stupid in my opinion but the worst thing happened after that. Rasmus Hoywand added a second goal to Manchester United collection. And now we're trailing 2-0 in the FA Cup final. Can we come back in the biggest game so far of this review? In the 60th minute, Matis Teo gave us some hopes. He scored an incredible goal to bring one goal back into the FA Cup final. And shortly after that, he assisted to Fabio Carvalho. How he was so wide open, I have no idea. But we took advantage of it. And now the game is tied 2-2 at Wembley. What a moment for us. Can we completely turn the game? I do believe we can. But in the 101st minute, Rasmus Hoywan scored the third goal for Manchester United. Stupid mistake in our defense. Cost the FA Cup trophy we showed some incredible spirit to come back from 2-0 versus one of the best clubs in the world but sadly we couldn't manage to win our first major trophy but we did great in our second season back to the Premier League in the fourth season again we received over 50 million to improve that squad and I do believe we need a better center back than Howard Bayliss He's just not that good enough in my opinion and that's why we went and signed Levy Cowell. He was currently at Spurs, what a weird move for him. But I do believe he does have so much potential. He normally starts as a left back, but we changed his position from left back to center back and he grew with two overall to 84. What a center back now we do have in Levy Cowell. And in the meantime, the best thing happened. We received an offer for Fabio Carvalho from Manchester United for 54.6 million how can we reject that man of course we accepted it straight away and the replacement of fabio carvalho is arda guller from real madrid and we paid for him only 57.6 million he's 83 overall miles better player in my opinion than fabio carvalho so let's see how are we gonna perform with levy cowell and with arde guller in the fourth season of this takeover and we did it guys we finished fourth in the fourth season of this review wow where we started this takeover and where we are now we're gonna have champions league football next season this is incredible. We collected 66 points and conceded only 42 goals. I am telling you, Levy Cowell was the key for our success in the fourth season. Not only that we are gonna have Champions League football next season, we reached the final of the Conference League and there we're gonna face Lazio. Wow, this is epic. But look how our team developed. Matis Teo is now 90 overall. Philogene, 88 overall. Asane Diao, 90 overall. 
Connor Bradley, 87 overall. Wow, we're building something special at Hull City. And also, what a stats from our three attackers. Matty Stell, 24 goals, 7 assists. Jaden Filujin, 23 goals, 12 assists. Asane Diao, 22 goals, 11 assists. This is something else. Arda Guller, 7 goals, 10 assists. It's not a bad first season, but I expected a little bit more from you, my friend. Now it's the game versus Lazio in the final of the Conference League. And they do have Declan Rice and also Virgil van Dijk in their squad. What's happening at Lazio? And look how they started the game, man. What a cross. Our goalkeeper is currently the weakest player in our team. And Alexis McAllister scored that goal? What the hell is Lazio doing? Why they do have so many Premier League players? And after that goal from Lazio, we tried and tried to score some goals, but we missed so, so many chances. And at the end of the day, Lazio scored a second goal that will definitely crush our ambitions to win that trophy. Last season, we lost the FA Cup final versus Manchester United. This season, we're losing the Conference League final versus Lazio. Ah, this is not going as expected, man. So far, we haven't won a major trophy and we're entering the fifth season. I really hope that the next one is going to be our season and we're going to be able to win the Premier League and hopefully the Champions League. Who knows? So let's find out how are we going to do in the fifth season. Whoa, we're starting with over 130 million and it's pretty obvious which position we're going to try to improve. This is the goalkeeper position and the player that we're signing is Aaron Ramsdale. This guy deserves more playing time than what Arteta is currently giving him and I I do believe that with him we're turning into the favorites to win the Premier League and of course the Champions League. And after 20 games we're third with three points less than the first Liverpool and our next game is gonna be versus them at Anfield. So this is a huge one for these boys but based on their development I do believe that we're ready to win that game. Like look at the team that we do have in the fifth season. Of course if you enjoy so far this whole city review leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel but now let's find out what are we gonna do versus liverpool at anfield and in that game aaron ramsdale was incredible he managed to save everything until the 90th minute where we considered a stupid penalty in my opinion how the hell is that a penalty but look what Ramsdale did in that situation. He saved it. Let's go, man. That's why we signed you, Aaron Ramsdale. And just before the halftime expired, Luis Mille scored the opening goal in that game. And this goal is super important because we managed to win versus Liverpool at Anfield 1-0. Come on boys, now we should turn into the favorites to win the Premier League. And after 37 games we're first and we do have two points advantage to the second Liverpool. And our next game is gonna be versus Fulham at our home stadium. But not only that, look at us in the Champions League, we're in the final and there we're gonna face Inter. Wow, we can complete the whole City rebuild already in the fifth season. But looking into that squad, we deserve it, man. Like, look at the progression of every single player. Honestly, I am impressed by their performance. Our attackers are currently one of the best in the world. Matistel, 93 overall. Like, this is incredible what is currently happening at Hull City. Come on, boys. We can win the Premier League. Matistel is currently a top goal scorer. Then after him is Jaden Filurgin with 22 goals, 11 assists, Asana Diaz. Yao is also performing really well. Come on, boys, let's destroy Fulham and lift our first Premier League title. And in the 75th minute, Arda Guller proved that the money that we spent on him are definitely worth it. What a solo goal he managed to score versus Fulham. And thanks to that goal, we managed to win our first Premier League title. We waited five years for that to happen, but it was definitely worth it. Now the biggest aim of that rebuild is to win the Champions League. So let's try to defeat Inter. We're really motivated at the beginning of the game to score the opening goal 
but their goalkeeper was on another level and then look what happened in the 39th minute we made a silly mistake in our defense and booty fuck of all people took advantage of it and now inter are leading in the champions league final can we turn that game and come back yes we can Jaden philogene with an incredible finish to give us the chance to fight back for the Champions League title and shortly after that Matis Teo added another goal and now we're leading 2-1 in the Champions League final with 30 minutes remaining are we gonna be able to win our first Champions League trophy come on boys we're so close but Lautaro Martinez thought differently he scored the second goal for Inter and now the game basically starts from the beginning come on Wautaro how can you manage to score that goal in the 95th minute Inter received a dangerous free kick but look what happened from that free kick Matis Teo with an incredible interception that led to very very dangerous counter-attack and what a play from Matis Teo he gave the ball to Asana Diao who is not going to disappoint us he's giving us the lead in the 101st minute come on boys now we we should win the game and the cherry on the cake put Aaron Ramsdale what a save versus Boniface and now no one can stop us we won the Champions League in the fifth season with who we created one of the best teams that I have ever created I really hope you enjoyed that review of course if so leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel but now I'm out and I wish you a great day Bye-bye!